Okay, as usual, let's begin with the vocabulary because we need to understand some words to talk about this subject. First of all, we have the word mass. Mass. What is mass? Mass is the amount of matter in something. Now, I made a little joke at the beginning of this lesson. I said, "What's the matter?" But that's a different meaning. It's important also to discuss what is matter. Matter is everything, right? Look around you, right? You see the table. The table is made of wood or plastic. That is matter, right? Look in a mirror. You see your skin, your bones, your flesh. That is matter too. In fact, there's something all around us that we can't see. Usually, we can't see it. Sometimes we can see it, but it's air, and that is matter too. Anywhere there are atoms, that is matter. Okay, so matter is all around us. It's everything physical that's around us. That is what we mean by matter. And when we talk about mass, it's the amount of things. And let's talk about atoms. Maybe you already know the word atom. Atom is a very small particle or piece of something, right? It's a very small. You can't see it. It's so small. So you can imagine that mass is the amount of atoms in a certain thing, right? If I have a pen, what is the mass of this pen? That is, what is the amount of atoms or material that makes up this pen? That is the mass. That is the amount of matter in something. Okay, interesting idea. Length, length means how long something is. So I just showed you this pen, right? How long is this pen? Now I'm used to inches. I'm not very familiar with centimeters. So I would say this this pen is about one, two, maybe three inches long. How much is that in centimeters? I'm not sure. I I, I don't usually use centimeters. But、uh, it's about three inches long. That's how long it is from one end to the other. That's the length of something. The length. Okay. Okay. Next we have height. Now we just talked about length. That's the measurement from one end to the other. But what if I turn the pen this way, and we're going to talk about height, right? And when we talk about height, we can also say how tall is it. And if somebody says to you, "How tall are you? How tall are you?" They're asking you about your height. Maybe you would answer, you know, 100 centimeters to 120 centimeters. I'm not sure,、uh, but maybe you're in that range, right? How tall are you? I know in inches. You know, I'm more familiar with inches. I know my height is six foot and one inch, but I. Don't really know that well in centimeters how tall I am, but probably you guys are maybe a hundred centimeters, a hundred twenty centimeters, a hundred thirty centimeters. How tall are you? What is the height from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head? How tall are you? That's the measurement of something from its bottom to its top. Okay, width. Well, we're talking about a lot of dimensions, right? We talked about length. We talked about height. Now, imagine I'm holding the pen this way, right? And the height is this way, but the width. How wide is it, right? So the width is how wide something is. I just asked you how tall are you? That's your height. I'm asking about your height, but I won't ask you what is your width. That's a very strange question. How wide are you? And usually people don't ask that anyway because it could be impolite. Some people are skinny, right? Skinny. Skinny isn't really a positive word. It's a little bit of a negative word. It means somebody needs to eat more food. <laughs> okay, they're too skinny. They're too thin. And of course, some people can be very wide or broad. Yeah, okay, you can say fat, but fat is a rude word. Don't say someone is fat. That is not polite. So. Uh, it, usually we don't talk about that, right? But that's what it means. You know, if a person is skinny, they're not very wide. If a person is fat, they are quite wide.、Uh, usually people, and then you, if somebody's in the no, be, in between range, we just say they're normal. But we don't really talk about that for people. We do talk about how wide things are for other things like furniture. We want to know can we fit it through the door, right? If your couch is too wide, you can't get it inside your house. How are you going to get it inside your house? It's too wide, so maybe you have to go in a different way. So width. So an object. How? What is its height? What is its length? 
and what is its width? Okay, so three dimensions. We usually the, we call these three dimensions. Dimension, and there are usually three dimensions when we talk about the physical properties of something. And those, of course, are length, height, and width. The three dimensions. 3D. Ah, okay, good. Volume. Now, volume is another way to measure something, and it's the amount of space that something takes up. So I, here I have a water bottle, right? And you can see the water is not. It's about half full. So the volume of the water is only about half the width or the yeah the size of this water bottle. So the volume. Is the amount of space that something takes up. Now, if I was to heat up this water, if I was to make this water hotter, the volume would expand. It would take up more of the space inside of this water bottle. So the volume is just how much space does something take up. Okay, good. Property, a property. Now, there's different mean、uh, different meanings for property. You might think property is my house. That's my property, or my backpack is my property. But we're talking about a different idea here. A property is also we can say it's a quality. It's like a distinction. It's a unique、uh, adjective or thing about. An object, some type of matter. So there are many different properties, and we'll talk about those in a little bit. But just to give you an idea, a property might be how long it is. We just talked about length. A property might be how tall it is. That's another property. But a property might be what color is it, or what shape is it. Those are all different properties of a certain object or of different kinds of matter. Next, we have a balance. Now, a balance. Oh, this looks like an old machine, right? But we still use it these days, and there's an important thing that we use it for. A balance is a device. A device is like a tool or a machine that's used for used for measuring the mass of something. So I talked about mass before, right? Mass is how much matter is in something, how many atoms, or how much. You know,、uh, material is in an object, and we use a balance to measure that quantity or measure that property of a certain object. Now, you might think, why don't we just, you know, a balance is old. You know, if you want to know how much it weighs, why don't you just use a scale? But there's an important difference here. A balance is used for measuring the mass of something, not the weight, right? You can use it to measure the weight of something, but mass and weight are not the same. They're not the same thing. Mass is, as we learned before, how much material is in something. Weight is how much something weighs in terms of kilograms or pounds, and the idea here is that weight can change depending. On location, what do I mean? Something weighs different in America than it does in Korea, huh? No, not like like that. Weight changes in relation to how far away from、uh, something that exerts gravity is. Think about the movies. Like you, you may have seen movies about、uh, space, right? Astronauts out in space, and they're in the they're in the space shuttle, or they're on the、uh, on the station. In、uh, in outer space, they're they're not walking around; they're floating around, right? So,、uh, somebody who weighs、uh, you know a hundred kilograms on Earth, they don't weigh anything out in space. There's no weight, but their mass is the same. Aha! So you want to measure mass? Use a balance because a balance on one side. You put like a one kilogram weight. Oh, I'm a horrible artist. I'm sorry, but maybe this is made of metal, right? And it weighs one kilogram, right? And you put it on this side, and then you put the object that you want to measure over here. And if it's the same, if it's if this bar is perfectly flat, that means that the mass, the amount of material, is the same in the one kilogram weight as it is. In the object that you're measuring for the place that you are, 
right? So yes, you are measuring weight, but the weight changes. If you use a balance at sea level, like at a beach, right? And then you use the same balance and the same object, the same weight on top of Mount Everest, there might be a slight difference because things are heavier um, at sea level than they are at elevation. In other words, on top of a mountain. So, if your mom or dad is complaining about, oh, I'm getting too fat, just tell them, hey, let's move to Switzerland. No, I'm just kidding. That's crazy. Uh, the, the amount of difference is very small. But for scientists, it can be very important to measure the exact amount. They need to know the exact amount of mass, so they will use a balance to get it very precise. So no matter if they're measuring something at the beach or they're on top of a mountain in a laboratory somewhere, uh, it doesn't matter where they are, they can still use a balance to find the exact mass and not worry about gravity changing the weight uh, in terms of elevation. Whew, that's a long explanation for one word. Okay, anyway. Next. Mold. Mold is a verb in this case, to mold something. To mold something is to take a soft substance, a soft substance, soft substance, a soft uh, material, like clay, for example. Or maybe you have Play-Doh, right? In your toys, do you have something like putty or Play-Doh that you can, you can make little characters out of it, right? That's a soft substance and you mold it into a shape. Let's say you want to make a head, right? So you, you mold that play, uh, play dough or that putty or clay into the shape of a head. Or in this case, this woman looks like she's making a bowl. She's taking clay and she's molding the clay into the shape of a bowl. Okay. Those are our words for this lesson. Lesson 11. Describing Matter. Mass. The amount of matter in something. Length. How long something is. Height. The measurement of something from its bottom to its top. Width. How wide something is. Volume. The amount of space that something takes up. Property. A quality that something has. Balance. A device used for measuring the mass of something. Mold. To turn a soft substance into a shape.